everybody. Welcome back. We today we're going to do it. I'm going to do a tutorial and show you how I made my journal cover in the previous uh, video for those vintage journals. Um, so you'll need some digital downloads, or if you can get the thin designer papers like you can purchase in the big 12 by 12s at Hobby Lobby. You don't want anything too thick because we're going to be collaging with this. Um, these are antique papery. <clears throat> I've got two designs here. This was like a moth one she's come out with and then the bees. Um, I thought it'd be fun to make a couple of um, covers using these and then later I can always go back and finish the journals up. So. Um, you're not going to need a lot of supplies if you've got a sewing machine. I always like to add stitching, but you wouldn't have to do that. That's just, um, you know, optional for you. So let's get started with this one. Um, it's very simple. Um, probably don't even need a um, tutorial for it because um, it's just very basic uh, like using any other envelopes. <clears throat> you can just take the flap and on the front one I think actually no it doesn't matter. Okay so I've coffee dyed these. Um, you can use them plain if you want to come back and ink it up. I'm pretty confident that would work because I usually end up covering most of the envelope itself anyway so don't feel like you have to do that. Um, so I just tuck them, I tuck the flap inside and you can see this is going to be showing but I will cover all that up on the inside. Um, and at this point I go ahead and put whatever image I want to show through in the window. So let me just get my ruler here. And it might be nice to have this one showing through. Let's see. Oh, actually, I'll go with the bumblebee. He's a pretty one. Don't want a wasp showing through, I don't think. <laughs> um, so let's see. Let me just go ahead and tear this strip here. I'm not going to bother taking the white off on that part because it's not going to show inside anyway. So, let me get my little scrap paper here. So what we're going to do <coughs> is just, um, this one's still got the little tape, but I, I also like to add a bit of glue. Let me get some of this other glue. I'm trying to use up. I've got so many bottles that are open. Let's see if I can get this one to work today. Um, so you're just going to glue that down really well. And it's got that little bit of strip of tape. You could use uh, double sided tape if, if you, but I don't know if I'd bother because. I'm going to come back in and reinforce this with some uh, muslin because I always like to reinforce the spine. If it was just going to be a little, um, you know, like an addition to a journal, I probably wouldn't take that step. But because this is going to be a journal, I like to do that uh, little process. So now I want him to show through. And it's down there, so let me take a little bit more of that off. I just like to play around so that I get it positioned where I want. So yeah, I like that. That's going to look really pretty, I think. So, at that point, I'm just going to take, I hope I can show you this, I'm just going to run a little bead of uh, glue 
back up in it. This is probably the most the fiddle the most fiddle fiddly <laughs> part of the um, the thing is positioning this in. And as I said, the reason I'm not making a removable card is once you stitch that signature in, it it's not going to work. Although, if you wanted, you could trim along here and make a little removable card. You know what, on the next one, why don't we do that? That way you'll have two ways of doing it. Because um, that might be quite sweet. You could have a little tab hanging over then. Um, so, kind of got that down. And now I'm just going to come back and put a little bit more glue inside here just to hold that. Because I don't want that image to shift um, now that I've got it positioned where I want. So yeah, actually we could just could do that and have two big removable journals, uh, cards. So we'll do that. That way you can see the difference. And then do the same back here. We want to have something pretty showing through there. So. that one because I like the color. I'll bring the color in from that. <laughs> Go on. I had the door I had the door closed and Daisy's decided to uh, she needed to come in and say hello. So I'll put that there. Let's just tear that across there. Get that positioned. And hopefully some of that color is going to show through. So, yeah, I really enjoyed making these. Um, as they were going to start out, see that's going to be pretty, I think. Um, so again, just take um, a little bit of glue just to make sure that doesn't shift. Um, they were actually going to start out as just a little um, addition to the. A journal as like a little, um, you know, a couple sheets of paper or something. And then once I got the covers made and decided to put the um, Tim Holtz collage medium on it, um, I thought, oh, this is just too pretty. I, I want to make a full journal with it. And I'm really happy with how they came out. All right, so. <clears throat> Got that, um, and like I said, just put a bit more glue inside there just to hold it down. You don't want to make sure, because otherwise you it could buckle when you start, um, you know, adding the other papers to it. Because we want to cover all of this. pretty. Okay, so one thing I, I learned on the last one um, is this one. I want to show a bit more of the envelope, I think, because um, I actually like the fact that it's a cover made from envelopes, so I'm going to try to show a bit more of that on this, this one. Um, let's see. Now this is from a different, I think it was like a woodland from an Antique Papery, and I like those as well. So I might put a little bit of the greenery, out. not the key, but the the greenery just um, in amongst that, just to break it up a little bit more. Move this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah, if you've not bought from um, their shop, check it out because if you're just getting started in uh, junk journaling or crafting 
you know, these work beautifully for cards as well. Um, she regularly has sales, and it's a great way to build up your stash for background papers. Um, she doesn't. She has a few kits, but not not that many. Most of her stuff is um, background type papers or journal, you know, journaling pages. So, but it is a great way to build up your stash. So I'm just going to put that somewhere around there, and I wouldn't worry too much because you're going to come back over this with the um, collage glue. So just to get it down, I mean, but you want to make sure you get the edges down really well. And you can mix in some book pages if you want to. Um, yeah, just whatever looks nice. I'm just going to put a little bit of these here and there just to break it up. I said this this time I don't want to cover all of the envelope because I do really like it and particularly since I took the time to coffee dye it I want to see that <laughs> and it is that time again I've got to um, I've got to do some coffee dyeing again I, I can't believe how quick it comes around seems like it was um, just a few days ago that I had done a big batch of it, but you get through a lot of it when you're making journals. So, And I'll come back and distress um, before I um, put the glue, you know, the collage medium over it. I'll distress this with some ink and really darken it up a bit. Okay, let's see. Let's get a few more of these other pages because I really do like... colors in these. So I'm just being a bit more selective with these just because I don't want it to all be covered in the bees. But the um, some of the other papers like I use the Tsunami Rose and Artie Mays. They have done such a beautiful job collaging already. Um, I didn't even have to tear them up into strips, really. You can do larger pieces with that. So that's that's another thing to think about, depending on how much uh, you want to add to it. Because like I said, you could put some book pages in here, all sorts of things, just to break it up a bit more. I want to make sure I get all the edges down really well. And then I'll come back around and stitch that with some thread. Um,
Okay, let me just see how that's looking. Again, when you fold that, you'll see if everything is nice. Okay, let me just put a little bit. Such pretty papers these are, but um, she started changing. They used to be in uh, printout like this, and uh, she's now started printing them so that you know we can use them in our journals easier. And that these, like I said, I purchased a while back, but I knew I would be using it for collaging, so I wasn't that worried about it. But I just think I want a bit of that to tone that down there a little. Maybe something here, I think, a little bit. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll sew it and uh, let me ink it a bit and then see if I'm happy with that. Let's try to cover that. Okay, there we go. I just I don't want too many of these bees because I don't want to take away from them. Got a lot of blue there. Yeah, let me put that there just to break it up a little bit more. <laughs> That's why I said sometimes the ones. Um, like Artie Mays is done are nicer because they're just everything's already collaged for you so it will be easier than what what I'm doing okay let me try to ink this up a bit now I like to do this before that collage medium and then I'm gonna go back so I'll, I'll ink it then I'll take it to the machine and then we will um, add the collage medium. It's um, funny, I was looking back, uh, you know, trying to get some inspiration recently, and I was looking back at um, what I used to use to ink, and I used to use the um, crumb cake, and now I'm um, on to the tea dye and the vintage photo because when I tried to use that crumb cake the other day it just didn't even do anything and it's funny because I guess um, my style has evolved into I know I'm not grungy um, but I am using much more to distress than I used to and it's funny how that's developed, how I, I hadn't even noticed it until I went back and looked at previous um, videos, you know, when I was inking things up on the edge and I was using that. But 
yeah, I've, my vintage photo is getting so dried out now. I'm going to see if I can get an, a ring inker when I go back, but I'm also going to have to go ahead and buy another ink pad because I, I like it. The color of it's very pretty. This is more on the red side, but it's all I've got today. I'm not happy about that. i got to get that down a little bit more. Okay, so let's see. I'm pretty happy with that side. Now, we're going to go in and do this, and then I'll stitch it. So, um, just checking the time here. Okay, this one will go a little bit quicker because I'm actually happy to just use, you know, bigger pieces on this. inside because I'll come back and do my pockets and so on so um, this one will be my favorite. and you don't have the windows you've got to work around so and this is where I'm saying um, you could you could do big strips like this with the um, with the ladies who collage the papers so just depending on how much time you want to put into it, I'm just going to tear a bit more of that off. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm getting concerned about the time. I, on my video seems to be, I don't know if I'm talking more, but they are definitely taking me longer to get through. But um, I don't mind that other than the time to... Um, upload. It really does make it much lengthier. Okay, I'm just going to put that in the center and then I will come back and fill in. Yeah, it was a really um, fun project to do because I am trying to find you know, some different ways to use those envelopes. I don't want to keep doing the same things. Yeah, I cut that a little bit short because actually I'm just going to come back and add another strip there, and then I'm actually happy to keep the edge of that because, I, like I said, I don't want to cover all the envelope. Let's see if I can just use this little strip here. And then I will go to the machine, guys, and do the stitching and come back and let you have a look at that. And then we will go on to the other cover and we'll tweak that other one so that you can see what you can do by adding a removable journal card. So I will be back. Okay, guys. I uh, forgot to say I... Um, I inked around the edges of the inside because, again, you want to do that before we do this next step. So, um, and then I took it to the machine and just did, you know, a bit of stitching around. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, see, that's that's not right. Um, I made my closure with the eyelets and some seam binding, but um, if you had wanted to run that, you better do it before you put your your paper inside. So that's just little things, well, you know, but I guess I'm addressing more people who are, are new, just keeping those kinds of things in mind. Um, okay, so let's get on with this. And get our. I'm going to use the vintage again. Um, 
and it's that way you can actually see. This is nice stuff to work with. Um, because it's not dark. It just gives a nice, see, you can see it's a, such a, a light, um, but just ages it that much more, and I love it. And it's, it, the other thing is it's not a shiny finish, so that's another thing I like about it. But So we'll just come over that, um, you know, it's just to seal it in and because you could see that with that glue stick, it, it wanted to pull up, so this is going to help to seal that. So if you're just going to use this as a little insert, you you wouldn't have to go through all all this. But um, as a journal cover, it is nice to go ahead and finish it off. up some more of this when I go back home. Listen to me. I'm going to end up with about 20 bags coming back. <laughs> so yesterday we um, Paul is staying very busy with all the legal stuff involved with his father's passing. And uh, it's just unbelievable. If, you, if you've been through it, you know, but this is a first for us, and my goodness, what an eye opener. So that's um, taking all of his time. But yesterday we said, well, let's take the day off, and I'll work this weekend because I'm flexible on when I work. So I said, well, I'll take a day off because he didn't have anything he had to do um, yesterday. So I said, well, let's get out of here then and go because through the week here, it's much better to, to go to places to walk, which is what we do on our time off. We like to take days and go. So I said, well, let's do it through the week. Then you don't have anything going on. Let's just get out of here. And... Um, because there's not as many people with the weekends. Every place is packed here. Um, so that's what we did. We head off to um, Wales, of course. You know I love going over there. And I'm only about 10, 15 minutes to the border. Well, maybe, maybe about 15 minutes, I guess. So we just set off and did that and went for a walk. Well, it was supposed to be... I purchased a book about two weeks ago. And um, I shouldn't do this because that's not quite dry, but we got to get on. Um, so I purchased a book for walks in that the area that we like to go to. And uh, yesterday was the first walk we were going to try. And it was supposed to be a woodland walk, which is why on my Instagram I was like, oh, I'm going to go do some forest bathing um, today. Well, we set off on this walk and... Uh, it was very vague getting out to the starting point to start. And we thought, well, well you know, okay, we'll, yeah, that's okay. These things happen. We started on this walk, and the farmer, because you had to cut across this fellow's field, which over here, it's a public, um, what do they call it, a right-of-way or something. Um, and they have to leave that so people can walk, which is amazing. I don't know why the United States doesn't do that so we'd have more places we could get out um, so we started across this fellow's field and the next week and, you know he spotted us and he started coming to us and we thought oh no here we go he's going to give us an earful and he ended up being the nicest guy and he said oh he said you guys are on the walk and we're like yeah he said oh he said we have a load of folks come down here he said, I can tell you, it's not a good walk. Because he said, number one, you're going to start off going by um, some people's house up just up there. And he says, they've got really vicious dogs. And he said, they've got them on their, um, they've got them on a chain so that they're going to come right up to you on the, 
little path. He said, it, it's not nice. He said, I can tell you another, a nicer, <laughs> a nicer walk. So we were like, oh, well, that's great. We really appreciate it. And he took so much time telling us that we were so appreciative. Um, this one has, uh, when I coffee dyed it, sometimes they will stick, but that's okay. We're going to work it out. Um, he took all this time giving us directions, and I thought, oh, bless his heart. He doesn't realize Paul and I have the attention span of a gnat. So we're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got it, you know, and he went over it like three times because I think he could tell we weren't that, you know. <laughs> so we took off on this walk, and uh, oh my gosh, it was through his fields, and the grass was pretty high, and it was wet. So, I mean, immediately your legs and feet, even though we have our hiking gear, uh, we were soaked. And... Then we crossed a field with his uh, sheep in it, and you tr you know you keep Daisy under control because you don't want to make the sheep nervous. And uh, got up to the next point that we were supposed to know what we were doing. Okay, I'm going to stop my story. Now I've glued that down, but what we're going to do? We're going to tweak this one slightly. This one's a little bit weird. I'm going to take and put this, I'm just going to go ahead and close it, just because I want to make sure all this cuts even. And I'm just going to trim <clears throat> just, just the tiniest bit off, and we'll see how this is going to be to make us a couple of big journal cards. I think that might be kind of cute. So I think I will end up having to um, break this up into... I'll have to probably empty my SD card here in a minute, guys, because this is going to end up a very long video, I think. All right, so we'll take that little edge off there. There we go. And you can see this. Don't worry about this. If your envelopes do that, don't worry, because we're going to sew that. So that's not a problem. If it bothers you, just put a little bit of glue. Um, and I might do that while we're collaging it, just to make it a little bit easier. Because that happens when you when that hits that yeah because see that one's completely loose but um, sometimes that will happen when you when you do the um, don't do what I was about to and glue that what you just cut open <laughs> so back to my story so yeah we get up through because he's like oh you go through two fields well we got to the second field and you know by then what he told us. Neither of us could remember. So here we are. In this fellow's got, a, I don't know, it's a big farm. He, he must have had five or ten fields. I don't know, a lot. Paul and I started off in one direction, got into a pen. It was completely fenced off, the one field. We were like, okay, we're going to have to backtrack. And I mean, some of the mud puddles we were going through... It, I was going up into my knee, up to the knee, trying to get through it because you got all those cows traipsing around and everything. So it was just, it was a mess. And uh, he and one of his farm hands were below with their, I don't know, it was like a backhoe. They had a little backhoe, and they could see. And I'm not kidding you. For two hours, two hours, Paul and I, in one field, find out, oh, this is fenced off. And the fence all had barbed wire on the top, so there was no way we could cross it. Um, <laughs> and then there was Daisy. You know, even if we could get across the barbed wire, Daisy, we had to think about her. <laughs> two hours we roamed around, and I said, don't you know that guy is sitting down there cracking up because... We disappear for 20 minutes, back, disappear. <laughs> we finally got out of there and, and somewhat found our way up to the point. He said, <laughs> this was the only thing I could remember. There's a bench where you can sit down and have a rest. So I was determined I was going to find that bench. When we did, we finally come to it, and I have to say, the view was beautiful. Although it was very overcast, we could have seen a lot further if it had been a nicer day, but... 
it was so nice just to sit down for a bit. And we thought, okay, well, we kind of now know which direction. We, we had found the sign he told us to look for. So we started off, um, oh, we're going to make journal cards for this one. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to just collage this and then come back and do the journal cards separate. Because I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just focusing too much on this story now. Um, so... We kind of thought, oh, okay, great. Here's the sign he was talking about. We got this whip now. So we headed, uh, started heading back, and oh my gosh, it was just unbelievable. We got ourselves in such a pickle. There, at one point, I thought Paul was just going to have to leave uh, me and Daisy because the, the sheep... Those fields that the sheep get in, I don't know, after they move them out, the sticker, you know, the sticker bushes, then things were everywhere, and Daisy couldn't even walk, and of course I couldn't carry her, because she's pretty heavy, um, but it was getting ridiculous. I thought Paul was going to have to get the car and just come back and, and pick us up, but we finally got out of there, and um, I told him, I said, this this book can go in the charity shop as far as I'm concerned. Because I don't think I'll have the confidence to use it now. Um, just too, too vague. And then I'm not into walking across the farmer's fields with those big old cows up in there. I mean, I love cows. You guys know I do. But, um, yeah, that stuff you got to be careful with. There's a lot of people get trampled with them cows, and they don't mean to, but they get startled. And So, I don't know. We're going to have to do some research on some others. I was so excited about getting that little book because I thought, oh, every time we're ready to go for a, a walk, uh, we end up, you know, getting in the car and saying, okay, where are we going? And then you just end up back to the same places because you, you think, well, I don't, I don't want to take the time to go get on the internet and look up another place. <laughs> but um, I'm going to keep my eye out and try to find another. Because I want a book that's specific to this area because I love that part of um, Wales and I want to explore much more of it. So as you can see, I'm just going to carry on with this. This is beautiful paper. I think this one's going to come out really pretty. I, I'm already thinking this is, I'm going to be partial to this one because these are very watercolored. Isn't that pretty? I love that bit of coral. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to piece this together. I'll probably do a, just uh, add bits and pieces here and there. So that was our day yesterday, and we've just done our hiking boots all up and everything, and oh my gosh, them things, we're going to have to take them back out now and give them another clean and uh, fresh coat of uh, waterproofing. <laughs> but that's what we like to do with our days. We like to take them. Um, we didn't take a packed lunch yesterday because I told Paul, I said, you know, since this is our day off, um, let's don't bother taking a, a picnic. Sometimes we will. We'll take a little picnic with us, but the weather was, it was supposed to be nice yesterday, but it did end up um, raining on us <clears throat> while we were over there, and I wasn't expecting that, but... I told him, I said, well, let's just, since it's our day off, oh, look at that one's got bees. I didn't even spot that before. Oh, I may have to put him in there. Um, I said, we'll just get us a, a pub lunch out. Well, gosh, by the time we got <clears throat> back to the car and found a place, well, they stopped serving lunch here. It's, it's just all these little things you have to think about. Honestly, if you're in the U.S., it is a change because um, they stop serving lunch at like about 2 to 2.30. And then um, 
then they open up again at 6. And that's not even the worst of it. We went to Italy, our first um, anniversary. Paul took me to Italy. We went to Tuscany, and he got a really good deal on a villa over there. This was in 2008. And um, <clears throat> that's the first time I had been any place up. Well, let me think. Yeah, that was the first country I'd ever been to other than here, except for Canada and Mexico. Um, and, oh my gosh, Italy, beautiful. But you talk about trouble finding a place to eat because they do this, you know, like they shut down for a siesta. <laughs> So that was really, uh, we never could get our schedule right. Because yeah, I can't even remember, like I said, that's been a long time back that we were there. But we really did struggle. Because, you know, you've got your own routine of when your body's accustomed to eating. And at that time, we really didn't eat breakfast. We tended to eat, like, lunch. Um... And by the time we would get around, everything was closed. So it was it was an interesting a trip over there. And like I said, here it's not quite you know that bad. But like the pubs, they do tend to close from like three until six o'clock. So yeah, by the time we got around yesterday, it was. Um, we ended up just a little cafe rather than a pub meal, and it it was it was okay. It wasn't great, but um, but it was a nice day out. Like I said, it um, definitely. Let's see, what else do we need? I've got to do something. I'm gonna fill those in. A bit more. Let me just try to break that up. I've got too many straight lines. Number one. I like that B. See if I can get him put in. Yeah, I've, I've I've made that too many straight. I'm gonna have to break this up a little more. Sorry guys, this is taking a while, but um, it's because we're doing two. Um, but I just thought it would be fun to show you a little bit different with the journal card, and I hope it. It's gonna, it should, there's no reason why it shouldn't work, and that will be just another nice little uh, tweak to that, I think. I'll put him down here, I think, just. I uh, can't think of anything else. Um, got the flea market coming up. I keep saying that. I'm sorry, I repeat myself, but I'm excited about that flea market because I kind of got. <clears throat> some ideas of stuff I'm going to be looking for this time that I hadn't been looking for in the past. So It's always fun, you know, as you're creating, you, you start, your style changes and you start looking for different stuff. And So it's fun because every time I go out there, I'm, I'm looking for something a little bit different. Okay, let me see if there's anything else. I could probably make use of these a little bit. So yeah, we'll have to choose a nice image for the center of that.
so yeah I just gonna keep adding to it until you you feel happy with it because sometimes it just all comes together and then <clears throat> I love these papers but yeah that's um I think I just did too much just the square I want to break it up a little bit more I think There we go. That's coming together nicer now. I don't know. It just needed something, I think. Okay guys, I will shut this off now and finish up because I know this is boring to watch and then I will be back and we'll finish this one off. Okay guys, <clears throat> this is where we are. I did some, uh, some stitching on that, so let's see, I better ink that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that because I've kind of got ahead of myself. I've made our journal tags, but I'll show you those in just a second. Let's carry on and get this inked. <clears throat> and then I'll sit this to the side once I've got it all collaged. Um, I'll sit this to the side and let it dry and we'll work on the journal cards together. So. so again, I'm just going to ink this up a little bit and uh, <clears throat> and I'll go ahead and do the same process with the collage medium. So um, I will be back and we will work on the little journal cards together. Be right back. Okay guys, I have went ahead and cut out some cardstock and the image that I wanted for the journal, the journal cards. So I'm just going to now go ahead, we will make a couple of tabs for these. Because I think that's going to look pretty um, standing out. Now I know I need to do a focal point on this one because I'd already placed it in there. And I think I'll have to come back and do that in a minute. So I'll ink those in a bit. Let's just get these. I want to put... Um, Discover on this and put that upside down. Okay. Because I thought this would be pretty just peeking out of the edge of the journal. Hopefully it's going to come out the way I envisioned it. Discover and believe. I like believe. I think that's... I like going out in the woods and uh, when I'm out in the woods, you can almost believe that there's fairies and hobbits and all kinds of things in the living out there, which is, I, I enjoy that. I like, uh, I like make-believe. It's sometimes more exciting than reality. So I'm just going to ink these up a little bit. And then I will need to make sure where I place these to attach them. And that one I know has got to have a little bit of 
Uh, it's got to have a focal point because it's going to be showing through that window. And that is another thing I learned making these is I like a really pretty image to peek through the window to show off that. These are going to go to the machine before I put the little tab on. So let me put some stitching on this so that will be really pretty. And I will be back and we will be finishing these off. Okay, be back in a moment. Oh, welcome back, guys. Okay, so let's just start off with um, the one that we were finishing up here. You can see I've done the stitching. I've come back and collaged it, so I'll let you see that a bit more. Um, and then <clears throat> when this is closed, I've decided this will just be... I won't use eyelets, so this will just have some sorry silk tied around it. Um, the other thing that you could do, if you want to add eyelets on the little spine, you could use some tiny eyelets and, and run you a band of elastic through there and make it like a TN. So that would be amazing. That would be another really nice little closure. Um, so you've got that option, or you can stitch an elastic band here that would come over and hold that closed. Um, but I'm loving how the tabs, see when it's closed, how that looks. And I'll tell you how I did that. Here's the tags after it's been stitched and inked. And then this one, I know it seems backwards, um, but you can come back and put something on this side as well because obviously your image is on that side but I wanted the word to show um, facing this direction so I've actually had the word put on the back but having said that you could easily add another one here um, I love this I love how this has come out and that's definitely going to be a tweak that I make in the future so I'm glad we did that together so there you go guys there is a way to add those um, journal cards and how beautiful is that um, and then I came back on this one and just tore another page so that that would be the focal point because I f it was a bit too plain and I felt like there needed to be something um, you know a, an image showing through there so I'm super happy with that now the only thing I'll need to do um, and this is you know optional again is I will put a small strip of muslin through here um, and I will make it very small because now that I've made the journal cards I've got to make sure that they're going to still fit in there so you know keep that in mind with that option over here it doesn't really matter how wide it is because I'm not affecting anything so here we go with this one again there's many closures you could have. You could do your eyelets here as I did in the previous video. You could run a stitch with an elastic band here that will just come over. I don't think I've got any um, elastic bands. I know I had some at one point but goodness knows where they are. Or come back and if you create like maybe a quarter of an inch spine you could place two eyelets, run your um, elastic through and make it like a little TN. So how sweet is that as a little TN insert? So there you go guys, it can be um, anything that you want it to be. You could run a stitch through here, make two pockets on the front. It's just endless. It's amazing what you can do with these envelopes and you know luckily I've got a lot to, to play around with. So the, you'll see a lot of these in the future because I'm really enjoying uh, being back into the smaller projects. I've got a lot of stuff in the works. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that and I will see you guys back here very soon with a five on the dime challenge. So you guys have a great weekend. Take care. Thanks for um, stopping by today and I'll see you soon.